I grew up in Northern California, just north of San Francisco, and um, went to a great little elementary school and junior high and high school that were all public schools and um, all surrounded by beautiful outdoors. I spent a lot of time as a, as a kid and a teenager outside, hiking, swimming, biking, horseback riding. Um, I was very much a, an outdoor child and um, loved camping and you know any opportunity that I could have, um, that I could take to be outside. Um, following high school, I did my undergraduate work at Humboldt State, which is a small California state school up in Northern California. Um, I was really, as I said, I was very into the outdoors and I um, was attracted to Northern California where there's a lot of forests and a lot of outdoor activities. So, um, but Humboldt is also known for having a really good um, undergraduate program in sciences. And at the time I wasn't even set on marine science. I just knew I wanted to do some kind of science. It was pretty much at the, that time, that same year, my first year in college, where I got scuba certified. and. After having spent so much time in the water as a kid, the first time I went diving, I couldn't believe that I hadn't been diving for years and years before. It was like, you know, it was, the light bulb went off and that's where I wanted to be. And I wanted to be underwater. I wanted to be looking at things and measuring things and counting things and trying to figure out how it all worked underwater. And um, so that, that moment really um, changed my career path. And I uh, switched my major from uh, natural like uh, solar engineering to marine biology. It became really obvious to me just during that year that there were a lot of problems happening in the ocean around coral reefs and specifically things that people were doing such as polluting the water through you know runoff and sewage inputs to overfishing and a whole variety of things that were happening in Hawaii that um, hadn't really been tackled or addressed scientifically and so when I applied to graduate school, I only applied to the University of Hawaii, crossed my fingers that I would get accepted, and um, lo and behold, lucky, luckily for me, I did, and I went on to do my PhD at the University of Hawaii, where I studied human impacts on coral reefs and um, had a very fantastic time and experience there and you know, designed my own research and had a great group of supporters and colleagues and advisors there. And um, I've been gone from Hawaii now for about eight years, but I still work there regularly and have all of my PhD students now work in Hawaii. So from there, I then moved back to California, did a postdoc, um, which is like a research position um, at the University of California in Santa Barbara. Um, and that was great for two years. And then the first job I applied for was this professorship that I have now at Scripps Institution of Oceanography, which for most marine biologists is, is kind of the uh, as good as it gets. You know, Scripps is one of the best oceanographic institutions in the U.S., and um, it was really pretty much a dream come true.